You're watching WME TV. Hey everybody, this is Ty with WME TV. We're rocking out backstage, 80s in the park, 2014. I should call it 80s in the mud. It's been freaking crazy. Rain, mud, but you know what? We got some freaking troopers here that totally just rocked the stage. Killer dwarfs all the way down from Canada. It's freaking brutal heat, but they freaking dealt with it and blistered this freaking crowd. This crowd will not forget this show. That's for damn sure. How did it feel to be up there on that stage in all this freaking heat? Uh, it's a dry heat. No, it, it was fun. We had a great time. We love uh, coming to Florida, and uh, like I was telling the people, uh, I grew up in Jacksonville. I am Canadian, but I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. So I feel like this is my, you know, second home kind of thing, right? So you felt like it was a coming home thing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, there was not, it was kind of an early show, but I'll tell you what, those, the, the people, the people that were here um, were not disappointed and they're really happy to see it. I know I was for a fact. I mean, I didn't think that I'd ever get a chance to see you guys because it's not like a lot of bands come to Melbourne, Florida, you know? So thankfully we got this, we got the Runaway Country in March. I'm not a country fan. I am a metal fan, I'm a rock fan. Um, so it was really great to see you guys. And what's the plans for the future? You guys got any uh, plans for a new album coming out, any new material? Yes, indeed. We're, uh, we're probably gonna take a little break a couple months coming up because we don't like touring in the winter and winter's coming up and uh, we totally have plans to write a, a new let's just say new material we're thinking of going one track at a time maybe not so much just here's here's a full album we might do like five tracks we might release one at a time we don't know yet but we, re we released that album last uh, we released that album last August that uh, uh, we had recorded 20 years ago but uh, you know at the time the music was changing and everything so we just shelved it but uh, we just reissued uh, it, or, or released it for the first time, and it's done really well for us. It's called Start at One, and you can go to KillerDwarfs.com. And Killer what a Killer band. KillerDwarfsBand.com. Or Remember we lost Killer Dwarfs? Right, or go to Taco Bell, TacoBell.com. Yeah, and there's a link to Bandcamp where you can buy it. And, uh, Ty, you should check it out, man. Absolutely, I will. Um, I've been a fan for a long time, and it was really great to see you guys here in Melbourne. I hope you have a tour plan to come back because you know you're always welcome here. And we've got 80s in the park again this time next year. So, I mean, we've got some awesome bands coming up. But I tell you what, the highlight of my day so far has been seeing you guys finally. Finally. And having you on our show, WMETV.com, and taking the time out to talk to me is freaking awesome. I hope you guys plan on coming back. And it'll be great to see you. Um, any final rock and roll words you want to say to? Our people? We just love you guys. That's it. <laughs> Turn the heat down. We got company coming over. Go dunk. Get some boots, man. And yeah, next time, bring boots. Rubber boots. <laughs> Rubber boots. Well, listen, this is Ty with WMETV.com. I'm here with the Killer Dwarfs. Totally kicked ass today. I'm so glad to see them and get to talk to them finally for the first time. And hey, if one more thing, I, we've got a new thing where you guys signed our banner, but there's one new thing. On the count of three, I want to hear you guys say panties. Panties? Panties. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Panties. <laughs> Panties. <laughs> awesome. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> He's not wearing any. <laughs> See you guys. Peace. See you next year.